Lately, a lot of is happening in the Ace world. VO3 is taking control over the internet, and when a few days ago I released a video about how to build this automation to publish VO3 videos, actually a lot of people were complaining that the cost is pretty high. And this is the truth. Maybe the videos generated by VO3 get thousands or even millions of views, however the cost of generating one video is approximately $6. And there is a hope to get these videos at much lower costs. Because on the left side, for an example, you've got Google VO3, and on the right side, you've got Clink 2.1. And there, as you can notice, the quality is really great. On the right side, yeah, it looks really professional. So in this video, I will be showing you how to create this entire automation from scratch that creates for you videos with Clink 2.1. And they are pretty similar to VO3. And actually, I need to mention the cost is 20 times lower. Because if we go ahead to the documentation, so there for the Clink 2.1, you pay 25 cents and 5 cents um, per one additional second. And for VO3, you pay $3.75. And here with the audio on, you pay $0.75. So here, and the cost of 8 seconds video is $6. And what this automation simply does, it runs every day, it generates for me the prompt for an image, and the prompt for the video with our AI agents, then we set the status to um, to do, then what we do, we um, generate an image. Because actually with this specific model, so Clink 2.1, um, actually in the full AI, um, we need to firstly generate an image, and from image we'll be generating the video. After that we get the video, we upload that to the Blue Dato, and even we publish the content instantly on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook or even LinkedIn. So everything is automated. Actually, we generate everything with this automation on autopilot. So watch this video to the end. And even before we get started, I encourage you to check out our A agents community. So as you can see, price rises at 100 members. And inside we've got huge value. We've got plus 20 hours and Aiden course. So you can see a lot of different sections um, advanced projects with JSON templates to download and um, to import inside Aiden. Uh, we've got a lot of resources, for an example, YouTube resources, premium A agents templates. We've got our 30 day A automation agency roadmap. Um, and also for the simplicity for this video, I've put um, actually all of the resources instructions um, inside YouTube resources. So Clink 2.1 plus NADEN. You've got like all of the instructions for um, your agents. You can copy Google Sheets and um, how to exactly set up HTTP requests and all of the data, and at the end you can download this specific um, JSON file to just take from the community, um, and then just import um, from file and just get instantly this entire template. So again, feel free to check it out. Um, yeah, we've got a lot of value, and with all that being said, let's dive into the video. So the point is, for this automation, we would like to start with the trigger, which is either schedule, or it can be the form, it can be the click, and the choice is yours because it runs on autopilot. Actually, you know, like inside this automation, we create the prompts and then we generate images, we generate the videos, we get the entire video, we publish that on the social media. So what I mean, feel free to choose different trigger. Um, then what we have, we've got our part for creating the prompts. So firstly, we use um, image prompt A agent that generates for us the prompt and the prompt is create a prompt for a biblical scene. Uh, we would like to create something similar to this TikTok um, channel because, for an example, this video got uh, 30 million views. It's a huge amount. And on this channel, also, I created, like, um, yeah, the video how to create VO-free um, automation that publishes for you this entire content. But let's move on to the later steps. Then we've got the system message. So inside, we have the purpose, output requirements, so what we should have in the prompt, so scene description, character focus, atmosphere and texture, visual style, and so on, example output and formatting rules. Uh, so in general, you can stop the video and read it all. For now, I don't want to waste your time. Inside our community right here, let's scroll up. Inside here, you've got a system message you can just copy and paste. Um, so, you know, you can just do this. Then also we require a specific output format. Um, so we just define, all right, only provide the image prompt. That's pretty everything for this agent and it produces for me a prompt for an image. So for now, maybe let's run it. Simply let's run it and wait until it finishes. Let me show you what we have. Uh, so we have the prompt. A Syrian river side scene featuring a biblical woman kneeling by the water, gently washing garments. 
Um, it's pretty nice. So we've got the plain JSON uh, format. Actually, only, you know, the text, plain text we'll be using in the further steps. Um, the further agent, uh, which is for the video prompt, uses this entire description. So you can see, create a short cinematic video prompt based on the following biblical image prompt. We provide this prompt and then we've got the entire um, system message. Let me show you. So we've got a purpose. And here we have the entire input, output requirements. Also, I provided the Think Tool prompt. So here um, you can actually add the Think Tool or not. It will let your A agent to think, um, actually to like refine and discuss about its, um, you know, things it has done previously and just refine your entire output, make it better. Um, but let's move on. We've got an input, we've got output requirements. So again, what we want to get in the prompt, example output and formatting rules. Pretty similar structure as previously in the previous A agent, however, still it's highly professional. Uh, we can execute this step and see what we get. I want to actually get the title and the video prompt. The title will be using for social media. So then again, um, in the output parser right here, when you go over, you can see we've got the video prompt and title. So we just define, all right, only give me these two variables. Um, but what we get is the video prompt. So we just based on the image prompt, we create the video prompt. So what happens next? Um, and the title will be using that in the further steps. Uh, for now, of course, you can stop the video and read, uh, like, let me show you. You can read this entire system message if you wish. However, for now, let's move on. Then what do we do? We just like set the status inside Google Sheets. So we've got a template. Uh, we can open it. And it simply contains the title, image prompt, video prompt, image URL, video URL, and status. Um, if you go ahead to our community, um, you can just open our Google Sheets and then um, actually make a copy. So yeah, just uh, set it up by this way. Um, and what we have inside, we've got a title, image prompt, video prompt, image URL, video status and status, and video URL, I'm sorry, and status. So with this step, we just only set the status. So here uh, we open the row, we pick the document sheet, and we just type to do. We've got two different uh, yeah, statuses. So this is to do and done and we mark it as done after we complete the entire automation. Uh, next, we move forward. So let's just, yeah, just set the status to do. Uh, we've got um, our step to create an image. And again, inside our community, you've got everything explained. So yeah, we use the post method URL, and we are using the application, which is fall.ai. So let's just type fall.ai. And here for this case, um, it's application that allows us to connect to different models. For an example, VO3, Clink Video 2.1, um, and Flux that we'll be using for generate for generating an image. Um, so for this case, uh, we just specify we want to use Flux. In the authentication, we choose generic credential type, header authentication, and then what we do, we type authorization in the name, and we provide our API key. So when we go ahead to fold.ai and to the API keys, in general, you can add your key. So yeah, scope API, and there is, there is the name. So for an example, and I then um, link 2.1 or just, that's whatever, okay? You can, you can just type it, create key, and then you can just copy this key and paste it here. And afterwards you've got uh, your authoriz authorization created. Um, then what you do, you send the body. So you specify you wanna um, you wanna have the body content type, which is JSON, using fields below, and you provide the prompt for an image. So what I've done here, I put the variable which is image prompt a agent. So you go ahead, you just yeah, you just drag and drop this image prompt variable, and then it just fits your um, HTTP request with the prompt. Let's execute the step and see what happens. So now, as you can see in the schema, we've got status in queue. Uh, we, we've got response URL, status URL, and yeah, we've got everything we need. Then we just need to wait approximately one minute. Um, so it processes and it creates for us an image. If we go ahead, um, actually here, uh, let's go over to home and then click on Flux Pro. Uh, 
when we go ahead to requests, we should see right there um, less than a minute ago. So we run, uh, you know, the prompt. And it generates for us an image, and the image is already generated. So that depends. Usually it doesn't take too much, um, too much time, but still um, you want to have like more time in your automation so it, it doesn't crash, you know. Um, but still what we have, we've got this specific image, which is pretty nice. We'll be animating it. Um, so let's wait until, uh, yeah, until this step is finished. For now, um, let's pick one second. I will change it later, but I want to do it very fast. Okay, let's go back to canvas. Next, we just provide the node to get the image. Uh, so we've got the URL and we pull and we take the response URL. So this one, this variable. Uh, so we just define actually get this specific image from this URL. And then for the authentication, we choose generic credential type, uh, generic um, here header authentication. And again, we just use credential we set up previously. And by this way, we get our image. And when we take the URL, let's just take the URL, paste it here, we get our image right there. The next step um, is to create video with Clink. Inside, we've got the method which is post. And with the, in, the, in the URL, we just um, provide this URL. And there, there is the point. Uh, when we go to fall.ai, let's go over here. We've got two different models. The first one, uh, which is standard, allows us to generate five seconds videos for um, 25 cents. It's pretty affordable. The quality is pretty nice. I like to use it. However, the second model, which is 2.1 master, um, is, I can say, more expensive. Because for the five seconds video, we've got $1.40. cents. However, still, if you think of like creating videos with view free, or even I'm um, here 2.1 master, so clink, um, the cost is three times lower. Because for the VO3 video, we'll pay approximately um, actually $6 for 8 um, seconds, but for um, the clink, it's approximately $2, okay? So the cost is still uh, three times lower. And in general, to change the model from standard to master, you need to go over here and just type master instant, instead of standard, okay? And afterwards, you're using this model. However, for now, I would like to, yeah, be it very affordable, so I will pay... Um, here is it's um, approximately 40 cents, I think, uh, for eight seconds video. Yeah, so five cents per um, second. Uh, we just paste this URL here. We just again connect our credentials. And then in the body content type, we've got the JSON using fields below. And the first parameter is the prompt. And here in the value, we need to provide our, uh, where do we have? Yeah, our A agent to um, create and the prompt for our video. So video prompt, simply we can just drag and drop it here. Um, the second variable is image URL. So we provide um, our image URL. So here um, we've got our get image um, yeah, variable. It's pretty the same. So it's just simply, you, you can just drag and drop it here. Then what you do, you execute a step, okay? And you can see it worked, it's in a queue. We need to wait two minutes. We need to wait two minutes. Um, so yeah, um, I will be back in two minutes. The next step in this workflow is to get the video. So again, what we do, we provide this URL and then we just provide, you know, request ID. So this specific one um, field. Um, the authentication is again a generic credential type and we connect our full AI account. And the method is get. Um, so let's execute the step. And as you can see, we've got um, our link. Um, so we get the video um, and then we get the video URL, okay? So the point is we just specify the method, which is get. And again, we are using uh, yeah, our specific file, which is um, our response URL. This is this one, okay? We just drag and drop it here. It's pretty straightforward. Um, so again, we are kind of um, getting the video because here what we have. Uh, we've got the method, which is post, all right? So we just um, connect through to the application that we want to create a video. After, you need to every time get a video, so get it back from the application. And then even uh, we need to have the URL to just paste it here, upload to Bloodado. So again, we um, have the method, which is get. 
we've got the URL, which is response URL, and again, our credential type. Uh, so this is a very simple method, and afterwards we've got the URL. Perfect. Um, then it's the time to save the information. So inside, um, let me show you, inside um, this Google Sheets, we have the image. Um, we've got the title of um, the entire creation. We've got the image prompt, video prompt, image URL, video URL. So we save all of the data for tracking, and then, you know, it's done. We can see it's created, so it changed the status. So it looks like this. You can just simply drag and drop um, from here. Let me show you. So we've got your A agent video prompt A agent. You pick the title, you drop it here. Um, from image prompt A agent, you pick, um, you provide this variable. From video prompt A agent, you provide this variable. Uh, you have image URL. So you go ahead, you um, get the image. There you've got the URL. Perfect. Um, and the status you pick as done. Uh, then there is the moment, actually, you can stop the automation right here. So you've got a video, you can publish it on your social media. However, I provided you, um, I provided for you other solution. So it automatically publishes your content on um, TikTok, YouTube Shorts, even we've got a Facebook or a LinkedIn. So simply, we are using Bloodado, which is an application that allows you to do this. And for now, actually, I don't want to speak about it too much. So here um, we've got the method, uh, which is post. I'm um, actually the URL authentication. We send the body. Uh, so in general, in other videos on this channel, I showed how to upload the content to Bloodado. Um, and also inside my community, um, you've got everything explained. So let me scroll down. And um, you can publish on TikTok. So you can see you've got all of the data, actually. Um, and yeah, you can publish it on different social media. And it works. So let me show you. Uh, we can execute the step. Simply, we need to provide the value. So we provide video URL. Um, and again, we just connect our account to Blotado. We've got the URL here. Then we just publish it simply on TikTok. So we take the URL. Uh, we again provide our Blotado credential. So now maybe let me show you very, very, very quickly. Um, you've got your free trial, of course. Um, and here, when it comes to your credential, you go ahead to settings, and actually you can get here your API key. You can connect all of your accounts and then take your ID account, um, ID account for an example for the Facebook, YouTube, here LinkedIn, TikTok, and so on. So simply afterwards, you just go over here and you know, um, you just provide the data. Um, for an example, video is published on TikTok, um, and here. Um, this JSON code looks like this. So again, I won't go more in depth. You can check out other videos and or even go ahead to our community. We've got everything explained step by step how to publish, you know, our content on different social media. After it's done, the video looks like this. So you need to remember we paid only 25 cents for this entire video. And for me, it's pretty cool. Remember, you can use other model, which is master. And there, for an example, you know, I showed you at the beginning, you can create this type of the videos, which is pretty professional. However, you need to pay approximately $1.40 or even $2. However, still, you can generate this type of the videos uh, really effortlessly with Clink 2.1 Master and this entire automation we created in this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. Also, I need to say that other downside of using Clink 2.1 instead, for an example, view free, is that we don't have the voiceover, okay? So it doesn't work for that case. However, you can use other third party tools to do the stuff, like add the music even on TikTok. So I think like these results, so let me show you, I think these results are very worth. And again, actually, when you're using Clink 2.1 standard, you pay 20 times less, okay? So you only paid 25 cents for that video. When you are using Clink 2.1 Master, you pay uh, three times less. Um, however, it will change in the future. Nevertheless, the results are pretty, pretty nice. So again, um, in general, thank you for watching this video. Remember, you can check out our A Agents community. Um, so here, um, kind of, we've got everything. We've got our NID Masterclass. If you want to take your skills to the higher level, and we've got 20 hours of content. We've got a lot of experts inside the community. We just have already started, but still, um, yeah, I think it's worth to check it out. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.